Hey, what's going on? So today we're going to check out Concept 3.0 and we're just going to dive in and see everything that it can do. So I'm really loving this thing, man. So we now have a full, like complete workstation for your chords. So you can come here, you can create, you know, a nice chord progression. You can come here and compose it quite easily. Um, and you can either play it you know you can play it out you can use the performances you know um, and then you can go and you can work with the MIDI so one of the latest features is now that you can take any MIDI file and you can import it into concept and you can actually harmonize that MIDI file to your chords so say you know you don't know how to play piano but you know you want to take these chords and create you know a nice melody a nice uh, composition you know so the new performance mode this is going to allow you to drag in any MIDI file and then have that MIDI file take on your chords and your current progression whatever you're working on and so this is really you know game changing because now instead of just playing you know the block chords there's ton of midi loops there's ton of uh you know compositions online that now you can take the the rhythmic patterns you can take the the style of those um midi files and you can apply it to your chords and that's really game changing you know now one thing i do like about this is that the midi designer is really really good for you know simple kind of melodies song starters you can really get some things going with this um, and I really like the fact that you can change the the style uh, and the complexity and it'll create I mean that's that's really you can really use that a lot of times you don't really need something so complex some something so complexly played but when you do okay you can pull up the performance mode and there's also this function that allows you to like generate different you know advanced compositions so let's see let's go ahead and generate another one Okay. All right. So here's the chords. And now I can load up a new preset or I can, you know, change the chords up, compose a whole new chord progression. And uh Okay, let's see what it does with that. I kind of like that. Okay, so that first four bars, I would use that. And now, it's not 100% perfect, so I would still kind of edit this MIDI a little bit, but, uh, it does a really good job at creating different uh, compositions. Now, we're about to get into the part where this is now something that you can really use to really manipulate, you know, your chords into almost anything you want it to do. And I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and generate a couple more.
I do I can do something with that. Okay. So you can keep generating these until you find something that you like. You know, it just depends on what you're doing. You know, you might use, uh, you know, a portion or all of one of these performances that you can generate by just clicking a button. Now, let's go ahead and get into the harmonize feature. So now, like I said, you can drag any MIDI file onto the interface. We're going to drag it right here and it's going to take that file and it's going to put your chords in it so I've downloaded some MIDI alright and I, I have some some chords that are doing a little bit of movement and uh, I'm going to drag those onto the interface alright so I'm going to take one of my downloads here and I'm going to go ahead and just drag it on to the MIDI pane alright and this is really a simple one so let's go ahead and harmonize it I'm gonna go ahead and click harmonize let's see what it did now right here it says drop in any MIDI file four to five bars in length so the way that you're gonna get the best result is to make sure that the MIDI file is between four and five bars so up to four bars or up to five bars now it will uh, process MIDI files that are longer than that but it's going to create ultimately a five bar loop and sometimes it's not going to get everything that you you know you're trying to to capture so to get the best results you're going to want to put in a four to five bar uh, MIDI file and uh, then we're going to click harmonize so let's go ahead and see what that did okay so yeah it sounds good now let's do another one okay so that sounds like it's more than four bars but we're gonna go ahead and harmonize it anyway let's see what it sounds like so I really like that I you know And so since it made a five bar loop it's not going to loop at four bars and so pretty much this is you know something that I would take and drag to the to the dog let's go ahead and drag that and so now you got the MIDI alright now with concept 2.6 there was an update that allows you to play this uh, play the sounds just as an instrument and so you can click here and it'll just play it as an instrument and I can play this out alright and so since the MIDI file was actually a little bit longer than four bars we now have a an offset but we can use this all right so we just edit the MIDI it just held, holds it just a little bit too long Just like that you can create something completely different than what was you know imported with the MIDI file let's just dive into 
some of the other features that are in this plugin because I don't know if people are 100% aware of the fact that it is incredibly easy to create you know very very unique chord progressions um, in this VST so Let me go ahead and go with uh, a classical and uh, some complexity around like 50, something like that, generate. All right, so like that first four bars, you know, you can really use that for, you know, like pain beats, you know, trap. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the effects. Now, you now have an effects section. So you turn each effect on and off with the little light next to it. And uh, the freak, the filter, you can change the type of filter here. Now you wanna make sure the frequency is somewhere where you can see it. By default, it's turned all the way off or down. But uh, you have different types of filters here. that you can play with and you know color your sound you know you can adjust the Q here the bipolar uh, and of course the type got all different types of different filters all right now you also have the delay of course you have your left time right time you also have course and we have a phaser. This is frequency one, frequency two. Okay. And of course you can EQ it. And so just those being able to make those small adjustments to the sounds make make a world of difference, you know. Instead of having to go and then pull up a plug in to, you know, do it. Uh, I found using this, you know, that you know, having some onboard effects would really kind of change the game and of course you know uh, it's going to be refined it's going to be developed more so we're probably going to get some modulations in here we're probably going to get some better effects uh, in coming updates all right so there you have it concept 3.0 and this thing really takes you know creating chords and composing to a new level and it gives you a lot of new freedom to you know like just just really work with your chords in new ways and i'm really loving this thing man this is really cool you can do a lot with it uh so right now you can get the update for nine bucks i think it's only nine dollars so if you already have the plug-in go ahead and update it's worth it all right so with that peace all right i'm out